Try to sit behind the desk so you look a little more official. Hello? Is Ariana? Nope. Okay, well, just look we'll quite sure not to cause an international incident. <laughs> no, Kid President, what grade are you in? Third. Third? Uh huh. Third grade? Mm hmm. Yeah. This is a telegraph. Telegraph? What's so a it, telegraph? Well, a telegraph, it used to be before there were phones. Before there was the internet, before there was YouTube, it was, it, it was a telegraph, and that's how you communicate from far away. How's school going? Good. It's going pretty good? Okay, so because I know you've got all these other activities. Yeah. So much demands on your time trying to balance being president and being in the third grade. You know, that's a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. But you seem to be handling it pretty well. Very well. You, you do. This is a program from... The March on Washington, where Dr. King spoke. You, know, you heard of the I, I Have a Dream speech? So this is the original program for that. Somebody gave that to me. Of course, is Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. One of the most famous and one of my favorite presidents. Mine, too. The, uh, any advice for me as uh, just an ordinary president as opposed to kid president? I have one. Okay. Well, not, it's not really advice. Okay. It's just how you're doing. Okay. You're doing awesome. You think I'm doing awesome? Mm -hmm. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I think you're doing awesome. Huh? So both of us, we've got a lot of responsibilities, but we're handling our business. How can kids and grown-ups work together to change the world? The most important thing we can all do is to treat each other with kindness and respect. Right? So kids, they can learn right away when you know in school and on the playground to be nice to each other. And if you see a kid being picked on, you make sure you stand up for him, and you treat everybody uh, fairly, you know, no matter what they look like or where they're from. And if you start learning to do that as kids, and everybody's respectful of each other and nice to each other, then when they grow up, they'll be doing the same thing, and we'll have a lot fewer problems. Don't you think? Yeah. I think that makes sense. This is the Emancipation Proclamation that that. that uh, Abraham Lincoln signed to free the slaves. And this is a bust of Dr. Martin Luther King. You keep on doing the great work that you're doing. I'll try to do my best. Between the two of us, maybe we can kind of get things going in a, in a good direction. Now, even though we're presidents, can we still hug? Yeah. Is that okay? I just want to make sure. Thanks, man. You're welcome. All right. All right. You work hard in school, too, though. Okay. Yeah. How you doing? You having a good day? Mm -hmm. Did you see the president? Mm -hmm. You did? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Hi, man. What did he say? He said, hi. We did small talk. So that gang, subscribe. Thursday. This is a week, October 26th through October 30th. Teachers, please remember to read your staff announcements. Good morning, District Heights. Today is Thursday, October 29th, 2020. And I am Mr. Thompson with today's announcements. Today is day four of Spirit Week. Join us as we acknowledge cancer awareness. Attention, all Mission Possible agents. 
Are you prepared for your new mission? Will we choose you? And please join Mr. Jeffries as he leads us in the fitness minute. Today, we're going to wear pink like a boss. Mission Possible Agents. Guess who? Mission number two. Now that mission number one is done, it's time for more fun. We are on to mission number two. Should we decide to choose you? Complete your assignments and do your best. Follow the virtual learning expectations and we'll do the rest. <laughs> this will take place on Friday, October 30th, 2020 from 12.30 to 1.30 p.m. And now it's time for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand, place your right hand over your heart and repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing and raise your right hand as we repeat the Panda Pledge. Please repeat after me. Today at District Heights, I pledge to do my best. I will be prepared. I will be respectful. I will show integrity. I will be determined to excel. Today at District Heights, I will be great. And now it's time for the Fitness Minute with Mr. Jeffries. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for tuning in to DHES TV News. It's a good day to have a good day. So have a good day. Bye bye now. <laughs>